I'm going to demonstrate a mustard fomentation and mustard plaster along with a mustard foot bath. So let me show you how to prepare your medicines for treatment. I have here mustard. This is yellow mustard. You can also work with black mustard. And I like to use flax as the base for which I'm going to add the mustard and apply it to, in this case, the chest to treat respiratory congestion that may be due to bronchitis or to pneumonia. I like to elicit the powerful volatile oils by grinding the mustard. And just keep in mind that mustard, because of its powerful oils, you want to protect your respiration and your eyes as you're grinding. So here goes. Now this is where I wanna just be careful because the oils can come up into the air. Now you see this beautiful ground mustard. I'm going to add it here and it's going to serve two purposes. Some of it I'm going to mix with the flax and some of it I will keep separate for the foot bath. And now I'm going to grind the flax seed. If you don't have flax seed, you can use flour. Flax seed in itself is anti-inflammatory, it's very soothing, and it's mucilaginous. So now I'm going to just add this, and I've got freshly made medicine here. I'm going to mix it up. You can always leave a little aside and add a little vinegar and salt and make yourself some mustard to put on your food as well. All right, now I'm going to make a paste out of it. I'm going to add some water and uh, just begin with a little bit of water. See how much you need for a paste. Okay, now it's well mixed. What we're going to do, you see I've got some olive oil here. For the first step to move congestion uh, down from the chest. Remember, mustard is a rubefacient and it's a diaphoretic. So olive oil is going to protect the chest because as a rubefacient, uh, it's, it, can, it might cause a little bit of burning, so that's why we put it in a bag and not directly on the skin. And a diaphoretic means it's going to stimulate sweating. And as we know, when we can increase body heat and increase sweat, it enhances detoxification and it helps burn off any virus or bacteria. Now, what I'm going to do is just open up this bag. I wanna make sure this is moist enough, and it is. And I'm going to slowly put this in the bag. I have used this many, many times successfully not only on myself, when I've been sick with bronchitis or the flu, but I've also used it with family members and, of course, with patients. And along with all of our other natural remedies, it works like a charm. All right, I've got a nice area. It's going to be perfect for Fatima's chest to move the congestion. Now, let's go to the table and I'll show you how to do it. Welcome, Fatima. Thank you for volunteering to be our model. I've elevated her. However, if she were, uh, if she currently had pneumonia or bronchitis, I might even elevate her more with two or three pillows, almost half sitting up. So you can adjust it as needed. Now, the first thing I want Fatima to do is take a little bit of oil on your fingertips and cover the whole area of your chest. I want the oil will be protective of the skin in the event that the mustard volatile oils get too powerful. During a treatment like this, you certainly can do this for yourself. 
uh, or if someone is doing it for you, you want to make sure that you're checking the skin about every 15 minutes just to make sure that it's responding well and it's not overly stimulated and uh, heating up and burning. Now we're ready to apply this pack that we've created and I'm going to lay it uh, often the bronchioles are involved. Now, the key to this efficacy is not just the heat of the mustard, but it's going to be the heat of towels. And I've made a hot water bottle here. Okay, very good. And then I'm going to take another towel and cover her up again, because we're going to keep the heat in. We're going to let her cook, as it were, for an hour. At the end of the hour, she can get up, and that's where we're going to do a mustard foot bath. And this is all devoted to bringing the congestion in the chest. She'd complained of a headache. The mustard foot bath is to draw the blood down from the upper part of the body into the feet to release the congestion of the, both the head and the chest. You feel comfortable? Yes. Very good. So that is our mustard plaster. Now that Fatima has come off of the table after her mustard plaster, we want to make sure that she stays very warm. And now she's prepared to give herself the mustard foot bath. First, she is going to apply olive oil all over her feet, up as far as the ankles. This will protect the feet from any side effects of the heat from the mustard. Fatima is ready to add the ground mustard. And this is about one to two tablespoons. And she'll swish it around. I recommend just using a little wooden spoon just to make sure it's nicely diffused throughout the water. And now she's ready to put her feet into this water and then wrap herself up in the blanket again, making sure she covers her chest and stays very warm. And she will continue the sweating process that began during the mustard plaster. I recommend soaking your feet for 20 minutes or until the water starts to cool off. At which time, Fatima will remove her feet from the water and just dry them off on a towel. I've demonstrated to you two important uses of mustard for medicinal purposes. One is the mustard foot bath and the other is the mustard plaster. You can use the mustard foot bath if you've got a headache of any variety, and it's quick to do. It takes about 20 minutes, 30 minutes from start to finish. You can also create a mustard plaster, in particular if you've got pneumonia, respiratory congestion due to bronchitis, or a cold. You can do this for yourself. You can do it for family members. You can also teach your patients how to do this for their family members as well. The only contraindication to keep in mind is to make sure that the foot bath water is not too hot in the event someone has diabetic neuropathy and they may not be able to feel the intense heat of the water. Other than that, mustard is a wonderful plant ally for our health and I know you'll enjoy working with it as much as I do. Thank you.